Hi there, I'm Ben Jones and you're watching Ducoscopy TV. The Bank of Canada have held their base interest rate at 1%, which won't come as a shock to most. But if their improving economy isn't the deciding factor in determining a rate hike, then what is? Joining me on the line to discuss this is Fergal Smith from Action Economics. So Fergal, the BOC have unsurprisingly decided against changing their rate, even with an improving economy. Some have said that a rate hike in Canada will only occur if one takes place in the US. What's your view on this? Well, we think that the Bank of Canada is, is likely to lag the Fed with rate hikes and, and probably with uh, the degree of tightening. Of course, it is um, going to be working off a higher base with policy rate already at 1%, but uh, more than anything, Canada's household sector is, is already quite stretched and the bank is looking for a shift in the drivers of growth toward uh, net exports. Now, CPI data will be released for Canada later today, with figures being relatively tame recently. What do you see happening here, and how important is an increase in the figure? I think key for the market is that inflation in Canada appears to have bottomed, and we expect the data today to reveal both pick up in headline inflation and in the core. And both of those measures are, are likely to grind higher throughout the balance of the year. Uh, I think quite meaningfully for the market, the Bank of Canada in its policy announcement has very much focused on underlying inflation. And for us, it's sending a message that it will look past uh, higher headline inflation that is due to the, the transitory impact of the Canadian dollar. So a signal that a weaker Canadian dollar will not worry the Bank of Canada. And finally, the IMF have recently upgraded their expectations for Canada and they see growing expansion for a minimum of two years. What's influenced this? I think pick up in the United States has been the major driver and uh, the long-awaited rotation or pick up in net exports for Canada that can replace the, the household sector as a driver of the economy. Fergal, thank you very much for joining us again. That's all from me for today. Stay tuned as later on Durham McDermott will be bringing you an interview looking at Singapore and tomorrow I'll be back with your weekly wrap-up. But for now, goodbye.